Hey, welcome back everyone, I'm Jay Barino. We'll be playing some Outpost 2 Divided Destiny. We're heading into the Plymouth campaign this time. New campaign, Plymouth. You know, I was thinking about playing on hard. I gave it a practice run, alright? I got to the second mission. I failed the first mission twice, failed the second mission three times, and I said, you know, I think I could do it. But, you know, those later missions, I don't really know. So, I, I think I think I'm just going to stick it, stick it to it on normal. The thing is, Plymouth is much different than Eden. Some of the missions have the same type of flow. Like, you're going to have the same macro to micro missions, we're going to be finding the starship parts, but Plymouth moves at a different pace, it has different weapons, it has different buildings, so it'll flow a little differently than Eden, and I look forward to, to playing it. Also, my, uh, my videos are still broken, Plymouth as you can comment. see. Uh, I thought I had fixed it, I don't know, short of reinstalling the whole game, uh, which I'm not going to do because I'm real lazy, I'd rather do a quick cut here and show you the, the opening, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. Plymouth Colony saw itself as peaceful, enlightened, in harmony with its new home world. Unfortunately, nobody told New Terra. The ground heaved and erupted. Long frozen faults began to move. It was impossible, but it was happening. How? They would find answers later, if they lived. Take what you need to survive. Freeze and regroup. Remember, Commander. Extinction is not an option. So, all right, that's our Plymouth intro. So, it's not the same as Eden. We, as Plymouth, don't understand that Eden has unleashed the blight. So, we just know that there's a volcano erupting, and we don't know why. It's most likely because of the blight. But for now, we're escaping from lava for most of the first missions, as opposed to the blights. You need to notice a lot of these briefings are similar, but not quite the same. Commander, a volcanic eruption is imminent, and the lava flow will destroy our colony. We must evacuate immediately. All the evacuation transports have been loaded to capacity and are ready to leave. Computer projections have generated a list of the materials we need to survive. Quickly gather the remaining vehicles and supplies and rendezvous at the mining beacon northwest of our colony. Hurry, Commander, we don't have much time. It is the same. Evacuate all this crap. So 4,000 and 4,000 I should keep an eye on, because uh, I do need to load up some trucks. Here we go. Very similar, what do we got? Structure factories loaded, agridomes loaded, tokamax loaded. Empty. Alrighty, we got food. So let's do common metals, common metals. You're empty, so let's just start loading all this crap up. Basic lab. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and idle this stuff using the hotkey. It's big for me, it's big for me in this game, I never do that. Okay, move away. Let's go ahead and load up our common metals. You can load up the metals from the common storage, uh, but you can only drop off ore at the smelter. Which, I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm explaining this. You probably watch my Eden playthrough and know this. Morale's terrible. Oh, really? Okay, so we need more food. You come on up here. Food. I think we have enough metals now. We only need food, so that's fine. Load you up. And load up... I have an empty convex somewhere. Where is it? One of these is empty. Here it is. How'd you get up there? Whoopsies. Okay, come on up here. So I played this on the hard difficulty, and it's like you have to be perfect. You have to unpower all this stuff because you need to get things out of the garages, and then you need to unload common ore to smelt it into minerals so that you can then take the minerals and load them back into trucks. It's uh, it's pretty hefty. Warning. Volcanic eruption oh, gotta load this guy up. Do we have enough food? One, two of food. Do I have an extra truck somewhere that I'm missing? That Oh no, I've got three of food. Okay, we're good. Let's just go ahead and box the map. And let's move up to the uh, the beacon. Now, what's interesting about maps this early on is that none of your units are smart. I mean, they're never smart in this game. But the robotic command center, which I got you know later in the mission as Eden, helped a lot in the sense that my vehicles would path themselves very smartly. So like, if there was lava right here, my vehicles would just run right through it. They would just kill themselves over the lava because they're stupid. But with a robotic command center, they would avoid hazards like that automatically, which is nice. Uh, and it's the same thing with um, really any natural disaster, your, your units will try to avoid some of them, especially lava, like stationary, things like that. And then further, if you've bulldozed a path, um, the robotic command center calculates for the vehicle if it would be faster for them to take the bulldoze path, even if it seems like it's slightly out of the way. Also, you notice my vehicles are going up in this direction first, rather than it... Very, it's, it's really, it's crazy the amount that a robotic command center can help you. Anyway, I'm talking that up because we're just waiting for all this stuff to get away. I really hope that I don't have anything extra left at home. It'd be funny if, like, oh, there's an extra kit there, or something like that. 
This is going to be a really short episode. Maybe I'll just go ahead and upload two today. I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't want to disrupt my flow, honestly. I'm trying to stay ahead of my uploads and by uploading two at the same time. Um, yeah, that's going <laughs> to disrupt my flow and make sure that I don't have enough. Okay, we can overwrite this one. Make sure I have enough videos in general. So I, I hate to... I would really hate to run out of videos, but I'd also really hate releasing like a three-minute video. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to end the video here, and maybe I'll see you on the same day <laughs> with Mission 2. Alrighty, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy Plymouth. Obviously, that mission is exactly the same as Eden Mission 1, except there's a volcano. And the next mission's also going to be incredibly similar, but the buildings, you'll notice, are different. Our research later on will be different. We'll be able to use the spider combination with our EMP tanks, which is fantastic. I really look forward to doing that. Anyway, this has been Jay Brino. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye now.